What comes included in the box is a Zotac installation CD that's got your graphics card drivers, Firestorm and Boost Premium as well as a manual on there. You also get a copy of Prince of Persia The Forgotten Sands. You get this sticky label which just talks about the various different power connections on the card and to please allow the graphics card to cool after operation before removing it from your system. You also get a leaflet here about Zotac Boost and try GeForce Accelerated software and talks about encoding videos, enhancing videos, editing videos and play safe. You also get a user's manual, an extended warranty guide and a few different uh, accessories. This includes a VGA DVI adapter, a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter, a twin 6 pin PCI Express to 8 pin PCI Express adapter and a twin Molex to 6 pin PCI Express adapter as well. Taking a look at the top of the graphics card, the first thing you'll notice is how long the card is. You can see it is extremely long. It still only takes up two expansion slots in your case and the graphics on there are branded as Zotac with a GeForce GTX 580 and the little man that we've seen on many Zotac products in the past. You can see that it's got this fan over here at the end with the Zotac branded logo on there. Overall the design of this is a reference based card. Uh, that's just something that Nvidia have decided to do with the GTX. GTX 580. We can also see on the side that there is a Zotac sticker here and another one here with various different barcodes and serial numbers on. These could always help when it comes to RMAing a graphics card. Taking a look at the underneath on the card, we can see that it uses this dark PCB, which we have seen on Zotac graphics cards in the past. You can see exactly where the plastic heatsink cover bolts on from this side, and we can see the four main screw points for the clamp, which would go over the GPU. In our older reviews, we would sit here showing you a graphics card like this and talking through all of the specifications, but now we've done things a little bit differently. If you want to find out the full specs on this card, head over to etechnics.com where there is a full written review on this. And this video is just really to show you what the card looks like. And to be honest, there are a few features that we need to let you know about this card that other cards on the market may not have, mainly ones from AMD. Obviously this is one of the latest graphics cards on the market from Nvidia so it does have full DirectX 11 support. It also has CUDA support and also being an Nvidia based card has Physix technology as well. When looking at getting a graphics card like this, the only thing you really need to find out is if it can cope with the amount of power that it needs and obviously if your motherboard has the right connection. This graphics card uses the PCI Express 2.0 bus interface. Now a couple of things you will notice on the top of the graphics card is that it has a Zotac logo here and the GeForce logo here. These are just stickers that have been stuck on because obviously this does use the reference design. Underneath the GeForce logo we can see exactly where the power connections would go. And this is quite a power hungry card. The actual minimum specified power supply for it is a 600 watt. And you can see that it uses one 6 pin PCI Express adapter and also one 8-pin PCI Express adapter. So please make sure that your power supply is up to power in this. Now if you're Mr. Moneybags and you have a hell of a lot of money in the bank, you may want to get another one of these graphics cards and put it in an SLI configuration. You will see that on the top there are two ports for SLI and it is just a matter of getting another graphics card, making sure that your computer is up to it power-wise and using an SLI bridge connected here. If you are going to be using more than two graphics cards in a three or four way SLI configuration, then you'll be using both of them on here and you will be needing more bridges. There is a lot of information out there on the internet that will tell you exactly how to use this card in an SLI configuration. As said, this graphics card, as most, will take up two slots in the back of your case and for a very good reason. The first slot is filled up with these ventilation ports so that when the fan is in action, it will help dissipate heat out of the back of the case and be exhausted. We can also see on this part of the PCI expansion slot is exactly where the connections go. And we have two DVI ports and also a mini HDMI port which does come with an adapter so that you can output from mini HDMI to a full size HDMI port. 